Are you interested in applying for a U.S. work visa but not sure where to begin? Many people are hesitant to start a visa's daunting application process, but once it's broken down, it's time to take the plunge and go after your immigration goals. Because there are millions of individuals looking into their U.S. work visa options yearly, we thought we'd explain how to apply for some of the most popular work visas, whether you're looking to settle permanently or temporarily. A few of the most common temporary U.S. work visas include the H-1B visa, the L-1 visa, the T-N visa, and the E-visas. When applying for an H-1B visa, you will first need to do a few things before applying, such as finding a business sponsor who will need to complete a couple steps on their own. Next, you will need to complete a Form DS-160, schedule your immigration interview, pay the associated fees, submit your supporting documents, and attend your interview. The L-1 visa is for those looking to expand their business in the United States and have a similar application process as the H-1B. For an L-1 visa, you will start with a transfer offer, followed by completing a Form I-129, a Form DS-160, pay the associated fees, submit your supporting documents, and attend your immigration interview. The E-Visas are for treaty traders, treaty investors, and Australians. The E-1, E-2, and E-3 visa start with completing a Form I-129, paying the associated fees, and finishing by submitting any documents needed to qualify. Lastly, I'll cover the TN visa, which is for Canadians and Mexicans looking to work in the U.S. under the USMCA, formerly known as the NAFTA Agreement. To apply for the TN visa as a Canadian, you have two options. You can apply directly at a U.S. Customs and Border Protection Port of Entry, or you can have your employer submit the TN application along with the Form I-129 to the U.S. CIS. On the other hand, those immigrating through the TN visa that are coming from Mexico will need to submit their paperwork to a U.S. Embassy or Consulate along with a completed Form DS-160 and then attend their immigration interview. Now let's talk about employment-based green cards, also known as EB visas. These are specifically for workers looking to settle in the United States permanently based on their prior work experience. The best thing about these green cards is that although the requirements and criteria are very different, the processes are all basically the same. This is because there's a pretty standard application process for anyone applying for any type of green card. First, for an EB visa, your employer or agent will need to obtain a labor certification approval and file a Form I-140 to the USCIS. The petition will then go to the National Visa Center, also referred to the NVC, once all approved, you can then apply for your green card. Knowing how to apply for your visa or green card correctly is very important when it comes to successfully immigrating to the United States. Whether you're looking to move to the U.S. temporarily or to become a permanent resident, using your work experience is the perfect option for most foreign nationals and we want to help. Book a consultation to speak with an immigration professional so we can help you reach your immigration goals.